I am in no doubt that if Donald Trump had still been the president, that invasion of Ukraine would not have happened. I didn't know that. that happened. It has happened. And if something's gone wrong with Putin, if he's lost logic and reason, it's not impossible to think that he'll want to go back to the days of Catherine the Great and the Tsarist Empire, and that Poland, Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia are under threat. He also is probing at NATO, and I'll tell you why. This remarkable alliance that has worked since the late 1940s was put there to guarantee peace, has pretty much done a very good job over those years. But something happened last year. America withdrew from Afghanistan unilaterally without even consulting your closest ally in the world. And let's face it, we've been with America in virtually every major conflict, side by side you, since 1917, and what Joe Biden did, without a phone call, was to withdraw American troops from Afghanistan. And we're asking ourselves a question. Do America still want to be the leaders of the Western world? Because if they're not, we have a problem. And the truth of it is, and this is unfair on American taxpayers and American people, but it's a fact, the truth of it is, without America, NATO is a waste of space. Without America, without America, Putin can do what the hell he wants, and we don't have the strength to stop it. Donald Trump did his best to make delinquent NATO members start paying the membership fee, and he was right to do so. But it's still, it's still not enough. It's still not enough. So there needs to be a big public debate in America right now about NATO. Do you wish to continue leading NATO? And if you do, that message must be sent loud and clear to Vladimir Putin. Because you know, if it's not, if that message isn't sent, I think Putin may well continue. I've come to that conclusion over the last few days. We behaved very badly in many ways. We promised, we promised the Russians when the wall came down we would not extend NATO and the European Union to the east, and they've seen that as an encroachment on their territory. We have made mistakes. We have got things wrong. We have not been honest about much of our dealings with Ukraine and Russia, but the fact is we are where we are. What Putin has done is truly dreadful, it is dangerous, it is frightening, and if we believe in independent nation states and liberty and democracy, then America and Britain, by your side, have to send Putin that message, no further can he be allowed to go. We have to send it. Thank <laughs> you.